on the ward for the pole cam, which means that they're basically getting no experience. Like, both these heroes should be close to level 3, if not 3, and King J is going to get nightmared, but I don't know if they're going to be able to get him. Split Earth is there, and the follow-up puts first blood on the board as X snaps. So, very, very nice for Orange to be able to get that first blood. And Mushi's still doing very well for himself, but how is actually holding his own much better than I thought he would. Mushi's just not able to effectively trade here. Actually getting quite low. Misses the... Oh, no. He misses oh, Jay. no trees. No trees. Coming from the top. And Chakram down. Here they come. There's the open wounds. Moot pops the ulti. Dragon Tail. This is going to be another death for sure. No. Nice nightmare. Delays it a little bit. There is oh, no. He is going to be able to make it away. Mushi finally, though, cleaned up. Shackle is going to latch. Not going to be any... Up front. They'll be cleaned up. By a power shot. Another TP's gonna come in. They might want to reinitiate. Yep, there it is. We're gonna have a dragon tail onto him. Now there's another TP coming in. The telekinese on Alchemist brings him back. Unstable concoction is tossed, and they're gonna be able to clean up San Xing at the very least. One for one in that exchange. So they do manage to keep the tower. And Rubik is halfway to level six. So he is severely underleveled, but King J with a triple coil. There's a coil and the follow-up. They're going to be able to nightmare net. Nope, never mind. Breathe fire gets the damage done. Mushi forced to fall back. Shackle doesn't latch. Edict is doing damage, so he will think twice about being kited. And there's the unstable concoction. That's going to catch one. Now the chakram goes out. Open wounds is out there as well. Hal trying to clean things up. That's two heroes very low. Trying to make a retreat for the tier two bottom. Bane's going to TP back in. And Tong Fu. Will three. And you don't yeah. have a single tier one tower on the map anymore. And Hal just doesn't care. He's going in. Engage again. Chakram's going to go out to try and cut him off. Another good nightmare. Keeps him alive. Same as before. Breathe fire. Cleans him up out of the nightmare. Mushi caught by the dragon tail and cleaned up afterwards. Hand of God. Gets the gloves back up. What little damage was done erased. And no way. Orange is going to be able to contest this any further. Not missing that timber saw. The aggression of Tong Fu is just immense at this point. They are going to go ahead and fall back now to try to defend mid, and Hal's just going to chase him down. Another open wounds used. KYXY just says, nope, that's fine. And guess what? Your supports are incredibly underleveled. They feel way too scared to go out on their own and try to do any warding by themselves. Tongfu has sentries littered in the jungle of orange right now, and they're just going to find Mushi. Open wounds. There's the timber chain trying to get him out of trouble. Silence is there. And caught out with a the telekinesis. There's going to be an unstable concoction tossed out. Now the coil catches a couple. They're going to re-engage. Shackle shots there. Does latch. Buys him some time. The net, though, locked down X. He's going to be a killing spree death going for how. And this life stealer riding on the momentum and success he had. Indication just how dire a situation they're in. When you say, oh, if they die, they could lose the tier two. Not a tier two. The one still remaining. Mushi caught off in mid. Blown up. That makes a killing spurt on the ropes. And if they ever, if they want to have any chance, they have to play mistake-free Dota and hope that Tong Fu makes a lot of mistakes. This could help. They hit a shackle. Doesn't latch. Banana dodges the chakram. Now the reinitiation. Coil catches two. Just looking to melt already. Once down. Make it two down. Soon to be three. Nightmare. Can't delay a fade bolt. GG at that point. And Unstable Concoction is going to land on move, but they don't really have any follow-up. I just want to point out. Oh, never mind. Here comes the battle. And... Hand of God gets him back up and fighting. They pursue out the Alchemist. Nightmare interrupts that. Nope, now caught with the Telekinesis. The rest of them forced to run for the well. Infest gets him back up and in fighting shape. And to the south, they catch out Mushi one more time. Shackle will not latch. So they're doing damage. They're doing decent enough damage to make Tongfu at least claimed. For now, the racks are just being shipped away. And they're going to have to come back out on this soon. Managed time. Didn't see what he got. Yep, hang on. There's the re-engagement as King J jumps in with a passenger. Mushi next on the list. And the rest of the fight, all but a foregone conclusion. Timbersaw did buy back, but in the end, the racks do drop. And along with it, what little hope of comeback. KYXY now re-engaged upon. There's a shackle that will latch, and they are going to be able to get off a kill. Triple kill for Hal. Hal caught in the chakram. Has his Aegis popped. Could not have been more than 10 seconds before it was going to be reclaimed. Ohio next on the list. He comes back up fighting open wounds on to Mushi. Familiar feeling for Mushi. Gonna try to get away. Nightmares there. Doesn't matter. Chakram's all over the place as San Sheng has stolen it. And they are now in well farming mode. GG. Gonna be the result. What a show, my friend. 21 minutes, 20 kills, 18 of them going the way of Tong Fu. This game got so out of hand so quickly. It seemed like Orange 
had a really good uh, amount of damage output, right? Like, they had Mushi Min, so he's going to get a lot of levels. He's going to get Chakram quickly. The supports, honestly, were, like, the downfall of Orange oh, in yeah. game number one, especially considering, like, it seems like a very small thing, but when you miss the D-Ward, you can't get another one 